is up, guys? We are over here having another glorious day of Dragon Ball here at Trinity Port in Baylor, Georgia. I just came in first with this guy we right got here. A Soul Striker. What is y'all that blue yellow shit? That blue yellow gang shit. We got the TPs. We're at Eternity's Portal in Bainbridge, Georgia. You better get your ass on down here. If you got the time, you got the area, come down here and whoop your ass. That's right. All right. Let's get into it. Let's get into the shits. So, everybody that's seen Soul Strike, we know what the hell this dude does. You know what that does. I think we'll talk about that no more. I went and did for the new Samasu. Mm -hmm. The good news is this guy has went down in price, so you can go and get it, and it won't really break your pockets. What he does, anything for or less, unisons, battle cards, he'll send them back to the hand. If they got the flex, window two, you can draw a card and you rest that same card. So you go up against things like um, Rosie, the five drop freeze and King, and King Cold, rest that bad boy, you know what to do. Yeah, even if you're playing against Baby and they... Um uh, turning the tide on you, you can still play this and rest turning the tide so they don't get that critical off. I win. Found these for locals today. This guy is my MVP. He put in so much. I was gonna say, this, was, this was a lot better than I originally thought it would have been. This card was put in a lot of work. All right, what unforeseen Darn does, if you guys don't know about him, you play him in turn. If you already have multicolor in your um, energy, so some a lot of times today I would charge multicolor turn one. Because I wasn't going to be on the play about 80% of the time. So my turn two, I go straight into this. So in turn, I draw two, discard one. And then he's like, now he's like a 50k attacker against your opponent. Yeah, so it gives you, like, Soul Striker notoriously doesn't do shit the first few turns. So, like, that just gives you something to do on turn two. I only had three apes. That's fine. I mean, ape is ape. Probably. We're gonna go into that busted nut. The busted, the busted nut. Yeah, this card's good. This is this is the card that like made blue playable, right? Yeah. And then once we get this uh, meta back being slow, when we get rid of FTK, it'd be even better. That's right. So then I'm gonna go into the heart of the blue yellow package. The pirates. I played these at four because once you have a body color on board, this is a free um, combo. Or in your energy, right? Yeah, once, as long as you have one a Bojack in the area in the energy. Any free. any Bojack brigade in your energy, it negates energy exhaust and it combos for free. So you just you just charge your Bojack the Evil Doer to set up your Galactic Buster play, and then this is a you. It's either a multicolor free or it's a, a rival trigger free. All right, so then because we got that, we have our rival guys. Did you like this? Um, I guess wider decks. Yeah, it was all right. Yeah, but then a lot of times I was just went ahead and sideboarded out. Yeah, and I think what I'm gonna do going forward with this, I'll probably just change these into two of the um, Gohan um baby negates. This okay, was, this was I'll probably just cut this down to like three. I don't need to have it at four. Okay, this would be. See, I would assume this would be good against because you once you establish this and Raditz, you get like four blocks. I would, yeah, that sounds fine. Sounds pretty good. Evil right. doer, evil doer, and then we have rampage. Yeah, rampage. This is your galactic buster shit. All right, your rampage now has two different. If I'll target if you want to go that way. We know what Evil Doer does, what Rampage does. Evil Doer, once you use Bust Nut, he's gonna spend something. Rampage, you can spend something. And if he's in rest mode, when they try to attack with a battle card again, you'll restate the energy. You didn't rip me out of the man, I'm telling you. Yep. All right. Somehow, some way today or last night, I went down to one Samasu. <laughs> Yeah, you done fucked up. Oh, you were playing. We were literally. It's supposed to be two and two. We were building this deck last night. It was two and two, and then at some point, my man done lost. I don't know super how the hell this, I was playing all the day uh, with only one blue yellow super combo. Don't when, ask. We, when we built this deck last night, it was two and two, and then my man done. He must have dropped. It's probably on the floor of his car right now. I don't know what it, the hell it, happened. It, this shit wild out here, but um, right. it, it, it did what it was supposed to do. Yeah. But guys, if you're going forward, please do this two and three. Two. Yeah, the three super combos better. Hey, if you ain't playing four super combos, you're bad. <laughs> All right. And the loss is a mossy. There's more at the house. I'll just put them in there later. I got you. All right, we're doing four cents of bean. That's right. 
Fucking Vegeta. <laughs> Fuck you, Vegeta. Okay. All right. This is my tech also for that bullshit. Hey, what's up? This shit was actually super good. Like, we, we play tested this last night. This card was, like, putting in a good bit of work. Because what it does, like, okay, you discard it. Any two cards, three or less, send to the bottom of the deck. So you're hitting their, um... Everything. The, the crit Vegeta. The crit and then the Bardock. Or you can hit the... You can hit the crit Vegeta and then the switching gears, and then the Bardock just becomes a 5k. So you can just swing on it with your leader and it, it get just. Up, and get it up out of here. Yeah. Like blue lacks removal and like baby plays this card, right? But like in Soul Striker, like it works really good. I was surprised. Right. I'm going to give you the units in lineup. So three Raditz, three Majin Buu. I mean, the reason I did, like, we wanted to see the to turn three, but then right. sometimes I get, like, these super aggro matchups, things like yeah, that. Whenever, You're not going to have the golden there, turn cards. three. I'm at, like, six, seven life and then play my units in, so I'm, like, up on life and have the units in for the double blocks. So I still want to have this. And then, like, later on against, like, Dark Broly, because Dark Broly is still a thing, we still can just go in here, do what we want to do with turn three, turn four, or later on yeah. pop in Majin Buu, start yeah. spinning their stuff. Yeah, like against Dark Broly, like you like block, block, this shit dies, and then next thing you just play that. And then it blocks and it spins. And when we mean by spin guy, we mean like sending the card to the bottom of the deck. It's a Yu Gi Oh term. Mm -hmm. That's that. Only three God Seals. Yeah. They, you play them much later in the game, so you don't need as many copies to see them. Uh, four Dimension Magic. We gotta, get, Dimension we, Magic. we gotta get you some foils. I do. Um, I do got some chills, you know. Yep. Chilled Army. Yeah, I love these. These are like my favorite negates right now. Like, this is like, I love these shits right now. I just I just hate like how they shit on blue and like didn't give combo power to the Chilled Army token. Yeah. But it is what it is, Bandai. I'd be, I don't know. You can attack certain unisons with this. This 10k attacks unisons pretty well. Like, certain, some of them. And this combo with five. Yeah. Mm. One with Fuba. All right, interesting. I did against like the big stuff. Yeah, yeah. Like they, they're going for game. I'm just like Mafuba, get that, get up out of there. Yeah. All right. And then the two secret rares of the deck. Of course, Hatchet. Yeah. Hatchet does Hatchet things. This guy right here. Yep. This guy saved my bacon a couple times a day, and it's just like one of my favorite like just pseudo ultimates to play. It just shuts down their entire deck. Only they can do is leader leader abilities. And then you usually, 80% of the time, you pretty much win the game when that comes down. Pretty true. What I really like is I like to play this card with this in hand. Like, you just super safe. It's like, um, I had a buddy of mine, um, Steven. We were playtesting one night. So what he did in Baby, he would play Fu. So my, you know, his turn is done. I'm going to my turn. I'm trying to go and swing because, like, he had made, like, two life left. Yeah. So, like, I can still kind of win this game. No. Exactly, yeah. All right, what'd you side? A bunch of ho shit. Anti-OG anti, anti -OG Broly ho shit. Is oh, yeah, the, to, today, <laughs> what made it so bad was me and John Carl were playtesting all last night. We had, like, two series, and we're, like, 1-1. One, one. And I'm like, play OG Broly so that we can get more reps in case we play against each other because we'll probably play with each other um, today. And he, we did, and, you know, I went 2-1. Mm -hmm. What I did was... Um, I don't recall. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just playing. I'm just playing. <laughs> what we did was, like, I went into these. Shit will go on. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, like, your Majin Buu on taps one, your leader on taps two. So you can you can progress your play and then, like, just follow up with this. I, I think it's pretty okay. Yeah, just, like, we're just trying to get to six. When we get to six, we're, you good to go. we're pretty much there. Secret I took ability. these into the sideboard because, like... That's fair. You want to win with Fu, so you don't want to, like, expend too many resources. Exactly. Then, like, if I'm going against, like, Kima Jita, like, other... Yeah. I wouldn't get, like, a Bardo deck today. Like, it wanted to span the board. So, like, my turn three, I already had, like, six in the drop. I was like, fuck it. Yeah, I'll good. just go ahead and, like, wipe their board. Yeah. It's good for lowering the curve of your deck. I thought I was going to see Jiren today. Two max power. Ain't nobody playing no damn Jiren. <laughs> I thought about it, you know, that, that eight drop was like, eh, ain't nothing want to get up out of here. There you go. Deborah, my favorite card. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh, you you know, discarding your decks today. I was like, well, yeah, I'm going to go play that guy. Then we're, we're safe to go. Because, like, you just, you know, discard it, pay one, have yep. a body, draw two. Yep. More... Why board hate? Okay. Turn three, clear the board if they fucking up. 
They're fucking up. I win. I just finished it up today. I went like completely thinking about sideboarding. I just had like a few tech cards. I, I probably well. just sideboarded like yeah. four or five cards out. Yeah, yeah. Sometimes you, you got side shit just to try it out sometimes. Yeah, I, mean, like, I just had like these Burial Hopes and another Mafuba. I got you. Just in case like there's some more bigger stuff that came up today, but <coughs> yeah. I was able to, I went 2-1 against um, OG Broly. Mm-hmm. Round two, I tied against Dark Broly because I've I played with my food and fucked up game one, and then game two, I cleaned that shit up. Mm-hmm. And then I just 2 0 on Bardock. Got you. But that's it, guys. That's I appreciate it. you coming out and watching the video. Hope you learned something. Hope you, you want to play. If you want to play this build or take out a variation of it, go feel free and have that. If not, it's been another Babby's video at Attorney Portal. Peace. Peace.